So what's going on guys, uh, welcome to my Wolf career mode on my channel for FIFA 18. Um, I did make one mistake before my video, I actually didn't show off my team, the team I was playing against Middlesbrough in the first game of the Championship. Um, but what I can tell you is I have signed Lato, left back from Valencia for 12 million. Um, he wanted a release clause of 16 and a half million, um, but I obviously I, I declined that, obviously I, I just wanted him for 12 million i accepted it um so yeah a first comes against middlesbrough and can i just say it, it, it's a really 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 great game against middlesbrough obviously in the next video I'll, I'll be sure to go from a team uh properly so here we go so the game's just been just kicked off and i'm on the ball with calavero he passes it to jota here on playing up front cavalero's in the wing and straight away watch this we nearly nearly got one up straight away it goes out for a corner and uh, Cavalero nearly putting us one up there. Neves is about to take the corner in towards Jota and the keeper. He just gets it away. Uh, Bennett in this game a few times was was a bit too slow for me. You'll see why um, he was a bit too slow. But I've still got possession of the ball here. With Jota uh, cutting inside the ring. Presses to Neves. It's a great save. Great save. And denying us one up in, inside 10 minutes. Uh, which is... Um, Surprisingly, that it's my first game of the season against Middlesbrough, and uh, we could have gone one up easily. So we've had a few decent chances, and just look, watch it, look at this for a ball by and dive. Watch this, watch this straight over the top to Lato, our new defender. He plays it to Cavalero, who who's going to be good for this season. I just know it. I, I know he is. And watch this, Cavalero cuts inside, bang in off the post, one nil. The goal was coming, you know. Cavalero for me is going to be our star player this season um, and it's a great finish by him, in off, in off the post, no chance for the keeper, 1-0 Wolves inside 20 minutes and uh, it's well deserved. You'll see a couple of times in this uh, video that Middlesbrough have so many chances and watch this, watch this, look at that, great save by Rudy, fantastic save, um, don't know where the I completely forgot but Middlesbrough we're really, really, really giving it a go to equalise as fast as I can. You can see it's only 23 minutes gone. And Middlesbrough are really going at it. I do not know what the hell I was doing there with Rudy. I don't know why I chucked it out like that. But you can see we're trying to get on the counter up with Cavalier and Costa. Uh, I was trying to look for an option. I spot Lato on the uh, left side again. Look at such control with the head. Absolutely brilliant. He tries to get it through to Costa. Can he get it through to Costa? No. Um, but it was Roy's idea by Lato and Costa and now Middlesbrough have the ball and uh, they're looking to counter, I can look at this, I just I just cannot defend on this game, I really cannot defend, now watch this, look at this, bit of skill, I choose Ryan Bennett, I cannot get him, he puts it in the box and it's an absolute brilliant finish uh, by Middlesbrough who for some reason, as soon as, I, as soon as I scored, they went ballistic like all that attack in the first half and because of that, they went and equalised. So there's 1-1, one, one, Paul defending my me. Uh, Ryan Bennett, as you can see that, I just couldn't catch him with Ryan Bennett. It was too fast for me, good skill. Low driven ball into the box. Left foot, top left hand corner. It's Wolves 1, Middlesbrough 1. And uh, we need to try and find another goal. Now you'll see why I say Cavalero is going to be probably our top player this season. Cavalero got the ball here on the wing. And I, I, I decided just to run at the defence because I know he's got loads of pace. Uh, he stumbles there, gets tackled a little bit and washes for a finish. He finesses it, absolutely brilliant finish by Cavalero. Um, I think he's naturally left footed, I'm not too sure, that's why he plays up on the left wing, I'm not, I, I just really don't, don't know, um, but it's a brilliant finish by Cavalero, right foot finesse, um, and he's balanced to keep the ball, look at, look at that, he just keeps the ball, he's, he's like surrounded by four or five middle players and it's an absolute finish. There's no chance, look at this, the camera from behind him, and it, you can tell that from that angle, it's a fantastic finish. We get the goal, it's Wolves 2 middle for 1, and uh, let's see if we can keep this lead. Now naturally, Middlesbrough were you know, attacking again to try and uh, equalise yet again, but again on the counter with Cavalera on the ball here. I'm, I'm, uh, I pass it through to Jota, and I've got Ndoy coming through in the middle, he passes through the cost, the cost turns up on his left foot, he hits it, and it's a great save by the Minnesota keeper, we could have easily gone 3-1 up, but I'm telling you now, Wolves on this game, on the counter football, are absolutely amazing, like with Costa, Jota, and uh, 
Cavalero up front, it, it's a really, really, really dead combo. And uh, if it's going to go promote out this season, in real life in the Premier League, uh, those three players are our key players. Uh, as you can see, yeah, I'm trying to use uh, not set pieces, um, but I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to take some short corners. This is a weird left foot shot. Look at that, just uh, corner um, cross. Sorry, uh, goes out again, and I get another corner. And honestly, I was really searching for a third goal here because I knew if I didn't get that third goal soon enough, with half time coming like just around, like just a couple of seconds away, and Middlesbrough could only go in an uh, equalise. Um, but uh, is that what happened in this game? I'll have to wait and see. And the first half is about to come to an end. I'm just going to let this run out. Costa on the ball. Pass it through to Jota. Uh, Jota has seen a lot of the ball this game. Costa not so much. Plays it through the Jota again. But obviously Middlesbrough finna gets there first. And he goes out for a wall throw in. I'm pretty sure this is going to wrap up the first half. Now Doherty on the ball who presses it to Endoy. Who... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing there. I'm just trying to run down the time really. Neves back to Endoy. Um, I'm pretty sure I lose the ball. I can't remember. Uh, press it through to Neves again. Uh, like, like I said, look, you just I'm just keeping the ball. I'm trying to run down the time. I just want half time to be. Just want it to be uh, over. And then obviously there you go. There's the ball. It comes through to Lat who, who brilliantly gets it off him. And then there's the half time whistle. Uh, it's ended. Wolves two. Middlesbrough one in the first half. And uh, let's see if the second half can bring any different from Middlesbrough. If they can come back or can I keep banging in them goals with Cavalero in the second half uh, so let's get into it so pretty much straight away I was on the attack uh, 47th minute and Neves gets the ball here uh, does a little bit great skin look at that just past the post could have easily been 3-1 um, honestly my players did come out on fire this second half and Neves just, just barely missing that corner, like I said, either could have been 3-1. We're really, really scary Middlesbrough at this point in the game. Middlesbrough really, really need to start up in their game now. Have their form has dipped uh, and dipped and dipped as the game's gone on. But Middlesbrough here after the ball. I don't know what I'm doing in defence again. Absolutely poor defending. And just look at this. Great save by John Ruddy again. who keeps losing the game and no wonder he's celebrating. Um, he should probably should be having a go at his defence there because poor defending my mind. I tried to slide in. It didn't work. It's still 2-1. And uh, Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough do have a corner. And uh, I just I just I cannot clear my lines properly, but look at this. We're on the attack, Diego Jota all on himself. Now I know I said Wolves are good on the attack, but Jota's just too fast for anyone really to um get there and watch this. Here's Costa now, he shoots and then puts uh, gets a deflection. Thought it was gonna go out for corner. And it didn't, so yeah, we can have out better in the second half. Middlesbrough, not so much, and Middlesbrough get a throw in right there. And uh, they're making change, in. so yeah, um, like I said, Wolves, we're coming out better in the second half. And let's see if we can do and get in more goals, because I'm really searching for that third goal. And Middlesbrough again have the ball, like I said, they're really searching, and it's poor defending by me. Look at his bang, and, and again, Rudy is quick to react. Um, Brilliant, brilliant goalkeeping. Obviously, Middlesbrough making another change, bringing in some fresh players. I think I do make my first change pretty soon, or first two changes. And look, again, I'm struggling to actually clear my lines here as Middlesbrough feels as if they're going at all out all out attack. I just couldn't get the ball off them, but there you go. Put it over, and uh, it's still two on Wolves. So, in this clip, I'm, I'm about to make a change. If you want to really pause the video, there's my lineup. Uh, my team lineup and my subs. I'm actually going to take off Costa and bring on Bright, who proves to be an absolute wonder of a substitution. And I bring on Morgan Gibbs White, um, two mainly attacking players. And um, you know, I really want to search that third, third goal. Costa really hasn't been in the game as much as I wanted to be, not as much as Cavalero and Jot have been in the game. So that's why I took him off and I brought on Bright and Bakari, and then I brought on Morgan Gibbs White for Alfred and Dai. And uh, like I said, we're, ser we're still searching for that third goal, but can't we get it? But like I said, Middlesbrough again on the attack. Look at this, Middlesbrough on the attack, and he puts it over and wide. Should have been 2-2. We got really, really lucky there. Now, in this clip, this is why I love Willy Bolly as a real defender in my life. And on this game, just watch this. Middlesbrough could have equalised easily. Look at, look at this. Willy Bolly clearing it off the line. I was, I was just... I was amazed how the hell we even we kept that and then here's our situation, Brighton and Bakari 
He's got the ball and then loses it. Like I said, he does prove to be a really good sub. But again, look, it's it's end to end middle bra. These quick passing, just trying to break down our defence. And you know, I was actually finding it really, really hard. I was actually, I was actually was going to take Neves off. But I decided not to. Uh, Cavallero and Lato linking up there. I decided to play to Jota, to Morgan Gibbs White, to Brighton and Bakari. And look at this for a goal. Absolutely fantastic goal. Brilliant goal by Wall. Brilliant passing. Everyone linking up. And uh, it's, uh, like I said, Brighton and Bakari proving to be a really good sub. Cavallero to Jota, to Gibbs White. And again here, I think I made my last change. Uh, bring off, I take off Neves and bring on Saiz. Just because it's an extra CDM, fresh legs. I wanted to keep the lead. I didn't want to give any, way, any balls away in midfield because I knew Middlesbrough were going all that attack. So that's Wolves 3, Middlesbrough 1. And the first game of the season has proven to be a really, really good game. And you can see there, they actually went defensive. So are we going to keep this lead? We'll have to wait and see. Or do I score another goal? Well, I am not sure. I'm going to let you watch it. In the background as I commentate, it's Wall 3, Millsville 1, can we march on to victory? They're not going to have many more chances to cut back this deficit. Yeah, what a chance. I mean, listen, it's late on, it might not have made a difference, but it would have given them a squeak of a chance that... three minutes of added time. Shots on here. Beautiful goal. Oh, it's another fine goal, and uh, the keeper, he's had to pick the ball out the net. He's had a miserable time as have the losing side here. Pretty straightforward this match, and the late goal sums it up, really. Yeah, they've just compounded their superiority with that one. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Well, it's a tough game for the team that are trailing. They're out of the contest, really. They're just playing for pride. They're really being torn apart. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach. And there's the last blast on the whistle today. Great start. Just what you want. First game of the season, first win. Yep, they'll be delighted. Put a lot of work into that. Put the rewards.